Today we're going to learn how to turn your long videos into short Instagram posts, stories and reels. Hello and welcome to a new video tutorial. So lately a few people asked me how to turn a video, a YouTube video or a vlog into a short teaser trailers for your Instagram. And we're gonna find out how to do that in Adobe Premiere Pro or in general in your video editing software. And what I'm gonna do is to jump inside Premiere Pro. Let's go. Let's say I've recently worked on a long vlog or a camera gear review, for example. And this is exactly what I have right here in my sequence is a 22 minutes long video. So quite long. And this is ready for YouTube in 16 by nine aspect ratio, as you can see here in my program panel. Now I want to turn this long video into a short story for my post or my Instagram or Facebook in general. And I want to change the aspect ratio of my video. As you might know, the maximum duration of a normal video as a post in Instagram is 60 seconds. So I want to edit first my video just under that uh, duration basically. And I recommend here, and this is a tip, to choose the best part of your main video cut them down, but also choose something that can really pique the interest and the curiosity of your audience. So definitely use the best shots, the funnier or whatever you want to achieve with your message in Instagram. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to edit quickly my long video and I'm going to cut it down under 16 seconds. So I'm just grabbing a few images. But before I do that, I want to duplicate my main sequence and you will understand why in a second. So I'm going to go here in my project panel, right click on my sequence and click on duplicate. And now, as you can see at the end of my sequence name, I usually put the aspect ratio. So the original was 16 by nine and I'm now doing a one by one aspect ratio sequence, which correspond to a squared format basically. So one by one, 11. That's how I name my sequences. I double click on it to open it up here on the timeline. I'm just cutting really roughly the video to under a minute. So when I finish talking here in this video where I actually explain how I color grade my videos and I definitely recommend you to go and check this video out because it's very useful to create videos in general, but in particular, if you're working with Instagram, even in color grading your photos, that could really help. So go and check it out. And I'm going to cut here the video and I'm literally deleting everything I don't need right after it. So this is all I have now on my sequence and it's 48 seconds. Before I change the aspect ratio of the sequence, I'm going to add an end board. And for the end board, that's another tip. I'm going to show you what I have here. So I made an end board already that can fit all my aspect ratios. So 16 by nine, one by one and nine by 16. So the, the portrait aspect ratio, and you will understand that later on as well. So I'm just dragging it on my sequence here. And as I have a quick animation covering my image, that's how it works. And as I want to create a teaser and the teaser actually is a short video that spark the curiosity of my audience. I want to give them the best clips here in this short trailer and also I want to tell them to go to my YouTube channel and keep watching the full video there instead of watching it on Instagram. So my message on my end board will be full video on YouTube at Mamo Air. So go and check it out right there. I want to show you a couple of ways to change the aspect ratio of your sequences. The first way is actually an automatic option from Premiere Pro. So you just want to go on your sequence in the project panel and choose the right sequence, which is the one by one for me. I right click on it and I choose down here auto reframe sequence. So we press on it and now you can actually choose the aspect ratio you want to turn your sequence to. And as you can see, the target aspect ratio is one by one, but you can open up the menu or customize your uh, aspect ratio here. But we want the one by one for now. Then you can choose another couple of options like creating nest clips. 
but this is something we can talk about in a different video and actually guys if you want more basics in terms of video editing I definitely recommend you to go and check my online courses where I cover the whole video editing process in Adobe Premiere Pro so you can join other hundreds of students that already enrolled to those courses and link down here and in the description tab so we're going to choose the one by one aspect ratio and click on create now this process can take quite a long time sometimes because as you can see premiere is analyzing your clips one by one and adapting your clip to the new aspect ratio also premiere is creating a new sequence as well so i don't recommend to use this method because once again, it can take quite a long time and also it's never reliable in terms of pos position of your clips. So what I do is uh, usually I do it manually. You will notice a new sequence has been created here on my timeline. And if I look for the sequence in my uh, Premiere Pro, so reveal sequence in project, there it is. A new folder has been created as well in the project panel with all the new um, sequences with the aspirations changed now you can scroll through the sequence actually didn't do a bad job at all but I want to show you how to do it manually as well so I'm gonna close this sequence for now the one that uh, Premiere created for us and let's go back to the one by one that we have created what I want to do is to go to sequence at the top menu here and go to sequence settings and now here we're going to change the aspect ratio manually so in under video in frame size we change the 1920 with 1080 so we're going to create a square uh, frame press ok and you will get a warning board we press ok we don't care about that and premiere is turning our sequence into a one by one one now what we want to do is to scroll through our sequence and reposition all the clips manually one by one to make sure we feature what we want the audience to see. Uh, some of the text will be changed in terms of size so you will need to adjust them manually. Unfortunately um, it's not a great option yet but for now I'm just gonna get rid of them. I don't need them. One and two. Now this part of the video is already centered so I don't do anything right here and then I'm gonna check clip by clip so this one for example is uh, a bit to the left hand side of my frame so I'm going to the effect controls panel and literally just move the position or the anchor point so if you have an animation in the clip use your anchor point if you don't have any animation just use the position it does exactly the same job so I'm gonna center this character and even here and so on for the rest of the video so I'm not gonna do it one by one I'm just speeding up the process but you can do that on your own so just center your clips as you like them so let's say I'm happy with this edit and with my aspect ratio in general and I wanted to show you the end where we talked about before so let's go at the end and as you can see what I mentioned about a single end board for all my aspect ratios is exactly that as you will notice my text will fit also inside my one to one aspect ratio video and it will fit also in the next sequence we are going to create which is the 9 by 16 in portrait mode just adapt your text to all the aspect ratios it will avoid you a lot of time after all in post-production to create an end board for each aspect ratio now the next thing I do usually before exporting a video for Instagram is to add a thumbnail photo at the beginning of my video if you don't know when you upload a video in Instagram automatically the app will create a thumbnail of your video which is usually the first frame of the video so if you want to match all your other photos in your Instagram page or simply you just want to pick a particular photo as a thumbnail then this is another good tip so you can take a photo of that specific frame you want and just put it at the beginning of your video as an individual frame and I'm gonna show you right now so I'm gonna go at the beginning of the video right there first frame on the timeline as you can see my time code is 0000 and I have already created my thumbnails for all my aspect ratios so the one by one thumbnail will be this one here beautiful picture in a lake with the 
boat and what you want to do is to drag it on top of all the other layers here on the timeline but my default my still images will last five seconds inside Premiere and what we want to do is to go once again at the beginning of the video use the arrow keys and go forward on your timeline of one frame so 0001 just check my time codes I'm going to zoom in my timeline cut the still image and delete all the other seconds of the image I don't want so if I go back to the beginning of the sequence there it is it's a single image it's quite big so I'm gonna change the size of it I need to reduce it now when I play the video this will be my very first image my very first frame and then the video will start as before once again this is a great way to match all your other photos on your Instagram gallery and not just having a random frames amongst all the beautiful Instagram shots. Now this sequence is ready to be exported but first we're going to create also the 9x16 for your stories or Facebook stories as well or TikTok nowadays so that's another good way to use this tutorial. So what we want to do now is to duplicate the one by one sequence because we have already edited and we just need to uh, change the aspiration of it. So we go here to the one by one sequence, right click on it, duplicate it and change the name to 9 by 16. This is my personal workflow anyway and preferences, you can name it as you wish. I double clicked on it to open it up in the timeline once again now you can change the aspect ratio as we've seen before with the automatic settings from premiere or just do it manually and i've got to sequence sequence settings and i'm going to change the frame size this time to 607.5 to 1080p and that will create a perfect 9 by 16 sequence press ok there i am in a landscape aspect ratio. I'm gonna double check my end board perfect as you can see the text fits again but in this case I might want to change the position of each individual clip you just want to scroll through your timeline and adjust all the clips one by one and I let you do it yourself again but I'm happy with this now I want to change the thumbnail of, of this 9x16 video and I just go here I select the thumbnail but this time I'm gonna replace it I don't delete it so let's go to my project panel the 9x16 thumbnail this time as also a text this is what I want to do on TikTok or Instagram stories so I want to tell something more to my audience before they start watching my teaser and with the thumbnail still selected on my new sequence I'm gonna click on the 9x16 thumbnail from the project panel I hold alt on my keyboard and I'm going to replace it so I just hover my mouse over the one on the sequence and the thumbnail will be replaced what I want to do is just adjust the size of it in the effect controls panel to fit perfectly my new aspect ratio and I'm ready to go now you can double check your videos all of them and now we're going to export them very simple we select the two new sequences we have created the one by one and the nine by 16 and I'm going to right click on them and choose export media now for the export settings you can check my video here where I explain how to export all the videos for YouTube and much more but make sure in the preset you match the source and that will match the aspect ratio the resolution the frame rate and so on you're going to export your audio as well and we scroll down and we are literally ready to go so you're gonna add it to the queue export it from media encoder or you can export them one by one from premiere pro once you have exported your videos you can download them to your smartphone and upload them on Instagram and by the way guys you can follow me also on Instagram where I post beautiful photos of my travels, camera gear and everything I'm doing in my life so it's a good way to stay tuned and stay connected for now I thank you for watching that was all 
I hope the tutorial was helpful and if it was, please consider to subscribe, hit the like button, share the content with your content creator's friend and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Look at